My name's Paul. Uh, I work for Surprise Attack. Uh, we're an indie publisher from Australia. Uh, we're showing a bunch of games here at PAX East. Uh, we're on a special booth, which is PAX Australia, so our thought was we could bring some games from PAX Australia to the people of Boston for PAX East. So this game is Western Press. It looks like a fighting kind of game. Well, Western Press is an interesting kind of game. It's a, it's a dueling shooter, so it's like a high noon face-off but it's got a button matching component, almost like a Guitar Man or a DDR, but your fingers do the moving. Yeah, it's got a really nice uh, old school pixel art style. Characters have got a lot of flavor to them, uh, but essentially what you're gonna do is play a best of three rounds, and the person who matches the buttons, the fastest and the closest, gets a shot off on the other person. So this next one is Mutant Alien Assault. Well, it's, it's like the Super, do you call it Super NES, Super Famicom? Which one's one in your country? Super NES? Uh, Super NES. Super NES. Well, it's Super Mutant Alien Assault. Um, and I think the kind of pastiche name vibes off this Halloween Harry, uh, Duke Nukem, Apogee kind of 90s vibe they got going. It's a single screen, uh, co-op or single player shooter, arcade shooter, where you are two tiny robots that kind of look like a cross between a bar fridge and a microwave, uh, except when they are armed to the T with every single weapon you can get. Uh, ammunition is finite, so you need to make sure you play as well and effectively as possible. You can revive one another and you're going to take down awful looking creatures inspired by things like uh, Ghostbusters and a bunch of those old 90s games like Commander Keen. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. The big dogs look like the, uh, the Zool dogs from Ghostbusters. Um, super frantic. It's got a really thumping soundtrack um, in that wonderful mid-2000s where everything had dubstep. This is like kind of a funkified MIDI dubstep that fits really nicely. Made in Sydney, Australia uh, by a two-man dev team, which is pretty cool. Uh, it's currently available on Steam and it's going to be coming to consoles as well. Alright, so this one is... This is screen cheat, uh, and if it looks like you can't see the characters on screen, your eyes are not deceiving you. Uh, screen cheat uh, came from a great group of guys called Samurai Punk who are from Melbourne, Australia, where we're based. Uh, and their idea was when you play a uh, split screen shooter, your mate is just going to lean across and cheat anyway. So why not make that the core conceit of the game? Um, screen cheat is now available on uh, Steam, but most recently it's come out on PlayStation and Xbox. Uh, the guys at Rooster Teeth had had a lot of fun with it as well, and we're having a lot of people come up and say, hey, I saw a YouTuber's playing it, and that's really great, because the idea of sitting down on a couch and playing a split-screen co-op shooter where the players are invisible is such a wonderfully poor, simple concept. Uh, what they've been able to throw in, though, is a litany of insanely ridiculous weapons. I mean, like a hobby horse that charges forward and you knock them in the head. Um, you've got an engine block of a Chevy that fires lightning. You've got rail guns. You've got a blunderbuss. All sorts of different bits and pieces. Exploding teddy bears are one of my favourites. But as you move, you can't be seen. If you fire your weapon, your location will be revealed. As a result of that, you have a highly frantic, supercharged co-op shooter. Uh, the number of players, I think it's eight players on the same screen, which is ridiculous. Uh, it's been really, really popular and really, really well received.